Hello, my wonderful learners. Today we're going to start with our week three, uh, uh, week three, unit two, sharing our planet. What are natural resources, which is a revision? Natural resources are found in nature and can be used by people. We have examples in front of you. We have water, animals, plants, light, oil, stone, uh, I mean, sorry, soil, stone, air, fossil fuels, and minerals. Sunlight is one example. What is sunlight? It is necessary for all lives on Earth. Without it, living things would not be able to survive. Uh, it is it is a natural resource that we use all the time. And as we said, that is it a renewable or is it a non-renewable? Fantastic job. It is a renewable resource. Okay. Um, in this lesson, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to learn how, how, what are ways that we can conserve natural resources. There are several ways in which we can help conserve natural resources. Reducing waste, saving energy, recycling, reusing what we can, and help prevent pollution. Companies are now aiming to be more sustainable, helping to cons conserve natural resources by using recycled materials when manufacturing new products or by using it to create energy. So as it, it is written here, did you know that recycling 1,000 kilograms saves 17 trees and over 7,000 liters of water? So one change can change a lot especially when we try to conserve our resources. I put a quick quick, a quick quiz over here that I want you to complete in your UOI copybooks. It tells you to try to sort those out, those natural resources and not uh, uh, non-renewable uh, resources. You have soil, natural gas, sunlight, water, wood, oil, coal, animals, metal, air, and plants. You are going to put for me the, the resources that are found in the renewable ones and the examples that are uh, out of the non-renewable ones. Now let's go with fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are as well organic matters and they are used to produce energy, while coal and crude oil are limited in supply and can help damage the and can damage the environment. Natural gas is less harmful to the environment but takes millions of years to form, so it could not be replaced. Okay, we have over here minerals as well, examples of minerals, quartz, salt, iron, clay, and sand. Most precious metals and pre uh, uh, precious stones are types of minerals. Some of the ways in which we use minerals are in construction, manufacturing, electronics, and energy supply. Now, how do they distribute the natural resources? The natural resources that you have read, readily available to you depends on where you live in the world. For example, the UK has plentiful supply of natural gas, oil, and coal. In the last two centuries, coal was the UK's biggest energy provider. But since in the 1990s, the UK's biggest energy provider is natural gas. Different places trade the natural resources that they have in exchange for something that they need. We go back to our renewable, non-renewable energy sources, because it takes Earth so long to take to to make many of these natural resources. There is a limited supply of them. Renewable resources are natural resources which, if managed correctly, can grow again, or uh, can grow again or come back almost as quickly as they are used. This includes air and water. Non-renewable resources are those which are used more quickly. Then, uh, then they can be replaced to those which, which are already used altogether. You need to make sure that we are able to conserve those natural resources and those types of resources so that they, we, do not, we, do, uh, that we do not have them in this world. Thank you for listening to, listening to me. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you.